Hello and welcome to Daily Premonition, the high score club stream in which I, David, play Daily Premonition in the company of a very good guest. This time it is Matt, aka Undead 8 Bit. Good evening. Good evening to you. How's it going? Pretty good. Are you broadcasting from the Red Room? Uh, it looks that way, doesn't it? Often my guests are very big Twin Peaks fans, but not people who've played the game before. But this time it's a little bit different because you have played the game before and you're a big fan. I'm a Lynch fan. I've not seen everything that is done, but I do love Twin Peaks. And also this game is just something else. And it's, it's I mean, I have it. It's here. Like... I bought it on the day of, of release, just because the hype around it was so confusing amongst other things. But as we've already learned, perfectly justified. For the benefit of the Discord, um, I've included a Deadly Premonition bingo card. And yeah, what about Twin Peaks? How did that uh, find its way into your life? I, I'm not sure how old I was, but I remember the, the pilot episode being shown for the first time in the UK because I was on a family holiday. My dad had fed me some food that had given me food poisoning because he insisted it would be fine, despite the fact it was past its sell-by date. Feeling totally guilty uh, for doing that. He allowed me to stay up because he was absolutely determined that he was going to watch Twin Peaks. He's, he's a big fan of the June books, so he had watched the kind of the film. It was this big family event where we all kind of, on a family holiday, in a static caravan, huddled around a tiny little portable TV watching the first episode of Twin Peaks. It was great. And then I think it was university, one of my friends um, that was at uni with that got the, the Laura Palmer Diaries book, kind of some old VHS copies of it, and we just used to watch it all the time. And even The Return is just, it's, it's, I love it. I love all of it. It's great. We've got 100% Return fans on the, on the stream so far, so that's good. Uh, let's go and uh, dive right in. I have done my own work and I kind of binge watched my way through the previous streams. Um, I think I saw, I saw Joe List's since then i've just watched them all back to back so wow well, you're right up to speed and also we had the um the collectible card which was a, a major plot spoiler which is always yes exactly what you want so, or was it who knows i mean i'm very confused by that it might have been a bit of misdirection i think we I should wouldn't... set a rule that we don't look at anybody's trading card until they're already dead <laughs> and then oh wait got our first first food reference of the evening can of pickles oh can of pickles yes so we're going to have a food-related theme, thanks to Matt's uh, suggestion tonight. So, uh, yeah, what's that you're you're consuming? It's a pickle. Is... I don't know if you can read that. What? What's a, a is it? A old... cucumber? It's a gherkin. Gherkin. It's a big old jar of gherkins. If anyone watching uh, wants to join in with eating food types that you spot in the game, uh, you might want a plate of, of smoked salmon. Uh, you might want some worms, not to mention I will coffee. Mute, I will mute myself while I chew because I'm um, pretty sure you've not branched into ASMR just yet. So, not just yet, but if we it gets us, it, if it gets us views. <laughs> go for it. Normal worm. Normal worm. I've got my worm here ready, but I'm not going to eat one every time I see a worm because it's going to be so many worms and a turkey sandwich. Okay. Oh. Well, there we go. That's my cue to turn. Oh, there's apparently a there's a side quest right there. Get me to that side quest, pronto. It is interesting that it previously you've been fined for hitting a lamppost, um, but you just had a full-on <laughs> collision, collision with an SUV and nobody battered an eyelid. Well, it's public funds paying for the, uh, the lamppost, I guess. I've got to look uh, for roaming Sigourney. Isn't Sigourney the pot lady? Yeah. There she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Couldn't be any more obvious. She seems to be an intelligent and refined person, but why the pan? I wonder what's in it. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Zach, I guess we're going to have to drive her home. Ooh. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. Cold pot one. Here oh. we go. Is this a crazy taxi level? I think, well, crazy taxi or uh, indeed Death Stranding. Which... Wow, get the car going. My house is over by the lake. Okay, please Three, please be two, on the map. One. Go. This lady's pot is getting cold. Oh, it's losing more and more of its warmth. <laughs> it's late. My pot is going to get cold. Hurry. Hurry. Step on it. Why I'm going. Do you have to drive so safely. Can't you see my pot is getting cold? I can't Why go over there. there yet? 
Could you step on it? If we I tried driving on safely. Is going to get cold. Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pod is getting cold? Whoa. Why aren't we there yet? Could we are there. Aren't we? we go this slow, no, it's next door. You can see it on the map. Oh. I'm impressed that she managed to wander that far from her home without it getting cold already. This is not good. There we go. Wait, my pot is going to get cold. Thanks to you, my pot is still warm. If you can't find the person you are looking for, you need to look at things from a different angle. Well, I'll look, look at her card. Is this version, because this is the Switch version, obviously. Yeah. Is it based on the Sony version of the game? Because I seem to remember it came out on Xbox first, but they kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it less infuriating. Really? So, this is the less yeah. infuriating version? Yeah, absolutely. Because And the way that I think I've worked that out is because I've seen you tackle a staircase. Sometimes it takes up to 10 minutes to get down a flight of stairs on the Xbox game because every time the camera changes, like your direction that you have to take on the on the control pad changes. There are YouTube videos of people just going up and down stairs trying oh. to get to the bottom of the staircase for like 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> Well, there's a card on my map, which is why I stopped. Oh, okay. And I was wondering if maybe this dog is going to pick it up. But maybe it's just a dog. I don't want to shoot the dog, so I'm not going to. Can you blow up those barrels? I can, but what if I kill the dog in the process? Let it be known that I don't want to kill the dog, <laughs> but I do want to shoot the barrels. OK, the dog's still fine. If it's not in this crate, it's got to be in the house, surely. That's excessive. Considering you can smash that crate with two swings of a Club. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can go in the house. I didn't even think that that would be an option. Oh, it's not an option. No. It's a very nice house. Are you able to? How far are you leaning through that window to be able to see those portraits? I've got a real slim head. <gasps> that's that's the twins. Oh yeah. Oh, and this is that the rock? Keystone. Yeah, and the rocking, you can see this picture on the bottom right. Oh, it's the same picture twice. Yeah. Can't believe they didn't do bespoke pictures for their thing. Coffee? Coffee mm. black. I'm still holding on for official merchandise. Oh, really? Oh. Dave Lee Premonition official merchandise. Stay tuned to find out about that stream. It took me a while to work out why this was called Dave Lee Premonition because I don't see you as a Dave, I see you more as a David. It's true. Uh, I haven't been a Dave for quite some time, but David Premonition doesn't have quite the same ring to it. No. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Something very exciting has just happened. <laughs> uh, not in the game, but in, in real life. So I'm going to get to the diner and then I'll reveal what it is that's happened. Mm -hmm. There was a scene in this diner in which Agent York Morgan stopped by to check things out and they decided to eat some food and they met suspicious rich man who has a Harry, Stewart. Harry Stewart, who has a mask on, who suggested that they eat uh, a special sandwich, uh, the ingredients of which were turkey, strawberry jam and cereal. Agent York Morgan referred to it as the sinner's sandwich. It sounds disgusting, then he took a bite and actually found that it was delicious. And what we're going to do today is we are going to find out if that's true. As you can see here, um, I'll be honest, I have it's it's faked slightly because we couldn't get everything. It's it's chicken breast, not turkey, with raspberry jam, not strawberry jam, with Cheerios, which is a very American cereal. I Cheerios. Nothing I about went this. to cornflakes purely because they're available in a small box. Also cornflakes are quite a neutral taste, so I think you might be yeah. might be onto a well, This is the there. thing, after I've bought everything to make the sandwich I'm already treading this. Um, after I'd already bought everything, I thought, if it, was, if it was truly a sinner's sandwich, wouldn't you go for the worst of everything? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. well, this, this, this chicken breast isn't of the best quality, this bread isn't of the best quality, Cheerios are my Cheerios. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. I mean... Hmm. Have I done that 20 minutes ago or more? 
and the cornflakes had like absorbed some moisture, that would have been a lot easier to eat. But, but I that's it. You want the crunch? No, not the worst thing I've ever eaten. I recommend everyone tries it. It's, I mean, with cornflakes, it's not like you say it's uh, it's more of a texture than a flavour. It's taking a lot of chewing. I'm just going to wash it down with some um, with some liquid here from this cup I've got. Mm. Look, what this reminds me of most is a prep Christmas sandwich. Yeah, I get that. Only with with Cheerios instead of stuffing. <laughs> Um, I feel like how how get involved because she's right there, and the sandwich is already made. Well, I did say that, that she could um, she could have or should sh should have some of it, but I'm glad we tried I'm it. Moving on to to um, oh, I can see that. Got some root beer because it was mentioned in the last stream. Lovely. Um, Ho has actually turned up to to try the sample of <laughs> the sandwich. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's a lot of jam in that bit. It's like a bad Christmas sandwich. Yeah. I think with a bit of butter, they'd improve it. Yeah. In the game, it was just a turkey sandwich with the extra <laughs> kind of smeared on top of it, like it was some kind of <laughs> cheesecake, but the base of it was a sandwich. It was, it's... it looked very, very wet with ingredients in the game. Well, I'll take this away. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually will finish mine. I'm happy to. Yeah, I'll keep my bit. I mean, not, not here, but for later. Yeah. Keep it for Ron. <laughs> Okay, for the first time in the game, I'm going to sleep in a shed. I forgot to look at what time it was. Oh, it's, okay, it's ten to five. Oh. I think you've you've gathered your first fly in the game. Pardon? As you get dirtier, you gain flies that buzz around you, kind of like in The Sims. Amazing! That's brilliant. I've decided not to shave because I want to see his his beard grow. Um. Oh, I can't. Uh, another let, steep ledge. I suppose you can shower in the game, can't you? Can you? You can. Um, you can definitely clean your suits. So I don't know if that's what makes the difference. You're right. You can clean your suits. Oh, wow. forest. Forest is in there for a side quest. Okay. Two things I know about this. If you look up the meaning of the name Kason, uh, its origin is something along the lines of helper. So his first name's Forest, and he obviously grows plants. So I don't know yeah. whether it's. The implication is that he's, he's there to help you, or whether it's just that he's the guy who helps the forest grow. Mm. Um, the second thing is that Willy the dog, if you look at your map menu, how are you doing, boy? Um, the entire town is in the shape of Willy the dog. Wow. Hey, Willy, wait. That's a coincidence. Going? Can you ever see the whole town Willy at once? Ran off with some bones. I yeah. So if you happens. go to the map menu. Oh. I can't really go into um, the details. But before I you actually to... zoom sure, into it, you can kind of see good. it from a distance. Willy loves bones. He's a dog. We're going to have to search his house, Zach. What? Let's get back those precious bones. <laughs> uh, okay. That's not is the this... reason why I'd expect to be searching his house. Oh, so his house is Willy's kennel in the back of his car. Ah, uh, okay. Also, I've just realized I've got jam on the bottom of my controller. <laughs> and it's my finger is sticking to it. There. Which is you see it? Not... See, so just by like at the top, there's kind of a snout, and then as you move down, it's kind of got a like a front leg, a back leg, a tail that looks oh around. Goodness. Now I see it. Now I see it. Yeah. So the, the head is at the top left. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know why. But I can't tell if, it, if it's intentional or if that's that's a coincidence. There goes Kaysen. There goes his little house. Observe it. Search it. That was the bone that I found earlier in the game. That's quite clever. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus too. Oh. So you just stole the root beer. There we go. That was all very efficient. Now. Oh, that is a, that is a diner you're driving into. That's, uh... yeah. See you later, Kaysen. Uh, <laughs> we lost him. Where is he? I mean, I've never seen that happen before. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often, at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. Finally, I couldn't take it anymore, so I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too, so I waited outside the bar to see where he might go. Galaxy of Terror? Yes, and they eventually left the bar uh. and headed for the art gallery, just before going inside. Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me, but I swear, her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment, 
I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. York, are we going to take Nick in for questioning? No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. Emily, answer me. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. It sounded like he said, raincoat killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all Think? due precautions. Take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to Becky's. She lives in the big house over by yeah. the lake. Hurry. We've been there, right? Yeah, Becky's was the place that was like the Resident Evil mansion. Red velvet. Just like the place where Anna was murdered. Oh, start profiling, yeah, why not? We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Correction, we're missing three vital pieces of the puzzle. So you did talk about the pink one. I don't see how we can't, well, look at it. It increases the sex appeal, of course. Yeah, I'd never noticed really before that it does tell you how dirty the seats are getting. It's almost a shame to change out of my very dirty one uh, if I'm impacting flies, but I want to give every every guest the chance to change the seat. To be fair, this is a very one. grim setting. I'm sure on a nice, well-lit afternoon, it'll look very fetching. Oh, please, come on. Okay. Oh, he doesn't like going in there. Oh, I shouldn't have tried to run in there, because now I'm stuck. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm in a tight spot. Is that a mirror? It is. Either a mirror or a hole. Ooh. Ooh, that's the peace sign. Yeah. I think. Oh, fine. The music box sound is coming from inside this cupboard. Should we open it and take a look inside? Nah, I nope. think I'm just gonna... Turn around, get in the car, let's wrap it up. Yeah. Oh, but wait. I've been blocked by some uh... new vines. Ooh, red seed. Mike, the red seeds I've been carrying around in my pocket. Always. Which is on the bingo card, if anybody's <laughs> oh. playing along at home. Oops, I didn't mean to run through there quite so dramatically. <laughs> Here we go. Now I've got to hide in exactly the place that you told me earlier. Hide, please. This is a really interesting... Like, I've not seen this done in any other game, the kind of dual view. Mm. So from the point of view of the raincoat killer, the raincoat killer can see which objects can be interacted with. <laughs> that should be a giveaway. Roar. Where could he be? Ooh. Oh, it's one of these bits. Okay. Get ready to jump over crates that you can easily walk around. Yeah. I didn't stop to observe that door, I'm pleased to say. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the final clue. The final clue. She was eating the center sandwich and she had a, a jam incident. Yeah, that's... I had to be very careful for that not to happen to me. <laughs> so that person is not the raincoat killer, right? Hmm? Or if they are, they're not wearing a raincoat. Yeah, I think they are. I think... I think they also are wearing a raincoat. So I don't feel like I learnt a lot from that um, profiling. No. Just different angles of someone being dragged somewhere, presumably, and murdered. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Is it rain? It's a shower. Zack, the bathroom, quick. After I've checked this drawer. I know. <laughs> I'll take a heavy cigarette. Oh no. This is why her side quest was only available up until this chapter. Hmm? Zach. She's still alive. Vicky. 
She had a tongue cut out. What oh, happened here? Girl. George, stay back. She's trying to speak. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! No, don't! George, stop! Think about it, George. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, oh, that isn't what I expected. Oh. Now we're going to lift her up. Oh, the York's beard was kind of like phasing in and out then for a second. <laughs> Is that why she's called an angel? She just cough up a key. Coughed up a clue. Yeah. Is that a safe key? Oh, I hope so. Not the subtle clue we were hoping for. <laughs> oh, diary. Why I done it by the raincoat killer. <laughs> Is this going to be one of those big Lebowski moments where it appears to be blank and they have to do the, the pencil? Yeah, I think maybe it is. My dear sister. There you go. I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. I left her there. She, she was suffering, suffering so much. much. And I just ran away. So was she Mr. Stilettos? I guess so. Arnold was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. In fact, she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. The two little kids. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. There you go. I'll send them along with the locket. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. And she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becca were sisters? No. That was a crucial detail that was omitted until now. Why are we at the milk bar? Oh, I yeah. can't believe it, man. Now that's no, that's heavy. heavy. Me neither. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. Oh, where is it? Where? <gasps> Another mystery. Since she heard the news. Ooh, so emotionally is she doing? Yeah. <laughs> Got no idea. The way I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Totally, it's... man. I, mean... I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. Say what you like about Keith, he's incredibly emotionally intelligent. Have you seen Anna's dress, dear? If not emotionally expressive. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, like when that car drove through that wall. <laughs> I loved all your extra knowledge about the game. 
that was very interesting uh thanks for having I, me it's, hope you I've, enjoyed it as well yeah it's been great to watch like i say I, I've, I've definitely played beyond this point but i don't i don't remember much further in the future if people wanted to find you online how could they do so under date bit everywhere i'm under date bit on twitch on um twitter instagram all the usual places so um yeah come and say hello motivate me to to do things with my time those of you who are keen-eyed agents might have noticed that i was drinking from this Daily Premonition mug, which is an official piece of high school club <gasps> merchandise. Look at that. And if you too would like to drink from a Daily Premonition mug, then all you need to do is head, head over to our store. Uh, if you go to the highschoolclub.com website, click up the top menu, there's a link to the shop, where you can also buy these little uh, high school club pin badges, which are very cool. That's it for tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, and see you again next week for more debut premonition. Goodbye.